Hello, hello, hi guys, how you doing? Hope everyone is doing well. Hope one is everyone is doing great during these corona times. We are living in a very, very challenge, challenging time. Economics of all the countries in the world are going haywire, but we are going to survive. We are going to survive. Oh, why am I lumbering? God. Anyway, we are going to survive. I have not done this in so long. That's why I think I'm so doing badly. I haven't picked a camera in a while and you guys can attest to that because you haven't watched my videos in a so 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 long time but we are going to get into the groove of things yeah soon we are going to get that positive energy back we are going to get pampered back and get going through it uh, i don't know why i'm all over the place anyway so today I wanted to talk something small that I've seen going around. It's about this coronavirus thing. Oh, it has left so many people miserable. People have lost jobs. It's so sad. People are going through a hard time. People are getting depressed. So I wanted to talk about the lessons that I have learned from this pandemic. Uh, the first thing I'll just give uh, about uh, it's nine, yeah, about nine things that I have learned about this pandemic. Uh, first thing I'll say is that God is in control of the universe. We don't know specifically where this thing came from. Yes, we hear it started in China, but we don't know we are not sure of where it came from but we believe god is in control of everything and it will soon going to go away i trust and i believe so you should also trust and believe so it's going to go away very 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 soon just as it it came so the first thing is that god is in control of everything that happens and uh, yeah so the next thing is savings. I know that's a big one and it's a challenge to many of us. It's a challenge to many, many of us, especially the middle class and those people who earn low income because sometimes you get what you get is to pay your rent, your bills and sort other things and you are left with nothing. You barely have enough to save. So guys, if you can manage to save, even if it's a thousand bob per month, or even 20 shillings weekly, it will be something. It will, um, it will, uh, what's the word I want to use? It will uh, amount to something because save a 20 bob today, Tomorrow, get a 50 bob, add to it. The next day, get a 100 bob. That is in terms of Kenyan shillings. That are, I'm talking about Kenya money. Uh, if you're in the US, maybe you can save a dollar. I don't know. So you can save the little or the least that you can manage. Try and be disciplined. When you say, keep that man away, money away. <coughs> sorry, it's not corona. <laughs> so keep, okay, sorry. Even I was supposed to cough like that we'll get used to bear that no, we are used to the this one i wash my hands after i'm done with this oh I'll, i can even sanitize i have my sanitizer here so that i don't forget and then i come greeting people yeah so uh where were we oh on saving so i'm saying like this guys if you can manage to save even a hundred bob per day, not per day, per week, in a, in a month that has uh, four weeks, you'll have saved 400. In a month that has uh, five weeks, you'll save, uh, that's about 500. If you're a casual worker, that you get paid weekly or even for the uh daily wages you can be able to save maybe 20 bob per day by the end of the week you'll be having 
uh, about a hundred bob, let's say. And then if you are monthly salaried person, salaried, you in me. If you get your monthly salary, yeah, it said salary, salary, yeah. If you get your monthly salary, you can set aside some little cash that you'll be saving. I know it's hard, it's difficult. Saving is difficult for very, very many people. But this corona thing has taught us that you should be saving. Because the little you save, it will come through for you when you need it the most. Because like right now, people are going through, some people were laid off jobs. Those who are working in hotel business, so most hotel closed. Airline, those people who are working for the airlines, they are not in jobs, most of them. So uh, some who are working in the hospitals have been laid off, the cleaner, like so many people have been affected. And the little money that most people had saved is what was going to save them then. It's what... Because some people were laid off and were told no salary. Others were laid off and given half the salary. For those who had saved, may it, maybe it was able to push you for a month or so. But for you who get hands to mouth and you didn't save anything, I know it's a difficult time. Even catering for your food, for bread, it's, it's been a difficult time. But we are hoping things will get better and better as the days go by. Uh, so I have talked so much about saving because I also fall fell into that trap. I'm not so good in saving. And it was traumatizing knowing that you don't have anything to fall back on. You don't have know whether you are going to keep your job. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how long the lockdown was supposed to stay. It was depressing somehow yeah but we've gone we've gotten that through that we we are in the month of july actually today is the first of july wow that's why it's so cold in nairobi july is the coldest month of the year in our country and it has started off barely yesterday it was sunny and a little bit cold but today such a gloomy day it's so cold. It's so cold outside. Anyway, so that is number two. Number three, life can change in an instant. Yes, that's what happened. It was like the, this day. Today, you're woken up like this. Then the next day, you are watching the news and the CS of health is there saying there is coronavirus in our country. And life got to change there was lockdown no movement that's what they are calling cessation of movement like you are in nairobi you stay in nairobi there's no movement that was allowed so like life just took a turn around like everything came to a standstill whatever you were used to do you had to forget about it and start reliving your life Again, like it just changed. Everything was disrupted. Your normal life was disrupted and you had to learn how to live again. Like if you had a routine, you had to change the routine. For those going to work, some were stopped going to work. For those, and you are probably going to work for the longest time of your life and then all of a sudden you have to stop going to work and you have to start working from home maybe you don't even have the right uh setup for working from home you don't have uh maybe a station like a desk work area so you had to know whether you have a desk uh, a designated place you have to be disciplined with your time you have to know how to work around with your family members all of them in the house and you still have to work Okay, let's go to the next one because I don't want these videos to be so, 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 so long. The number four, uh, it's, this is for us who we rent. If you can, build a home. Build a home. Because when you have a home, you are 
mostly like it to be in the status quo is because one thing you'll not be paying rent uh which is a big deal for most people and again you'll have build a space for yourself like you can live in when people are struggling to live in their spaces if you have built a home that is homely like you feel comfortable you would be so much comfortable staying even indoors it's not it was not a big deal because your home is comfortable enough for you so if it's possible to build a home or buy a house do it if you can this has taught us that it's good to have a home or to have a place you call your own it's the best thing ever because you, when you have a car you have a home you have a compound you can go outside but when you are living in like an apartment you are like locked in your house only you couldn't move around the fear of these corona things so it was a challenge so if you can't build a home for yourself it's an investment actually uh, uh, number five you can survive without some friends too i know there are people who lost friends during this corona period especially when it started because everyone was in panic what do i do some people didn't have money they are like calling their friend asking them hi i don't have some money kindly can you give me then everyone is afraid if i loan you will you be able to refund back the money if i give you this cash when will you be able i don't even have enough for myself if i give you what will happen to me you know that's kind of a thing so some people lost their friends because maybe your friends didn't call you they didn't check on you which was not a must it's not a must you also had a, an option of going to check on your friends calling them asking them how they are doing so many people lost friends and it's good somehow because there are some friends who are toxic in your life and you are able to cut them off and then having family is the most beautiful thing because if you had a close relationship with your family you are able to survive this lockdown because you are able to stay indoor and have fun with the family members but if you are not in good terms i think it was a difficult thing that's why there was so much domestic violence because people have never been together for a long long time locked in a house there are things that they saw from one another that they didn't like and in terms brought conflict and that's why there has been uh, much domestic violence and also kids and their parents they never spent so much time together and this time they were supposed to spend time together it was i think challenging times for some of us but me i love my family we are good i love them and we enjoyed this corona times another thing i am lucky i got my son i'm so 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 lucky i had my son at this moment because i was thinking if i was living alone i would have gone insane i would have gone insane because we are all alone in a house that time i couldn't move i go to my parents house like it was crazy i, I was thinking of my single friends like those people who don't have anyone else in the house how they were surviving it for like a whole month you are locked if you are they call them hmm, uh, introvert you are okay but for the extroverts that you need energy around people i think it was very difficult for them uh, another thing that is number six six have a side hustle mm. those side hustles are what came through for those who are in, employed have some side hustle that you are getting some income because if you don't have a source of income you could take a only for your salary things can go wrong like most people who lost the job some survived survived because they had some side hustles but others are suffering even now there are people who are i think are living in depression right now i don't know of anyone but i have heard stories i have seen on the news people are even sleeping hungry because they don't have money they don't have another source of income or any money or a way to get any cash to help them with their daily needs uh, number seven 
and then we have one more number seven it's uh, about being permanent employment can come through for you especially i think most people who are employed by the government you know government hardly fires people until you are retirement so if you have been a permanent employment or you are in business you have a, a um what do we call it um oh what's up running away from my mouth my brain is blank I, oh, what 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 did i want if you have a um constant source of income or a permanent source of income that can come through for you for such a an, uh, uh, a time for such a time when you really 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 need that income because so many b business suffered a lot so those people who have one or two three business they were still okay they were though the profits were not so as high maybe but they were still surviving they are still okay they are more better off than a person who was in employment and they were retained a person who was laid off especially most i felt so much for most people in the hotels because my sister works in the hotel industry and they were laid off and there was no pay if just go home no pay we'll call you back when we don't know it was such a challenging you have a family you have kids that need to eat you don't have even enough for yourself and then you are just laid off you don't know where to fall no one is employing no one is hiring so it was such a challenging thing and the final thing is god is for all of us god is for all of us because this thing is not for one person it's not into an adulator it's like it has come to teach us a thing in the whole world it's not like it's in africa in us in china whatever it is all over the world and it's affecting everyone no one is exempted the children old people young people everyone is being affected by this disease so god is for that others not like those people who are dying they have made any mistake or they have wronged god in any way but it's affecting each and every one of us so guys let's be careful keep the government's regulations whatever they are being whatever the government and the world health organization have advised us let's do that let's wash our hands frequently uh, use a, a mask whenever you are leaving your house or going somewhere uh, use a sanitizer if you are not around somewhere you can wash your hands but the most important they are saying is the best is washing your hands also keep social distance you have if you have kids kindly don't invite people in your house or if you have to invite people into your house make sure they clean before they enter your house make sure they clean their hands wash their hands yeah and they are not sick they are not coughing they don't have flu symptoms uh, if as much as you can do the best you can to protect yourself and your family and your loved one and uh, th that way if we are able to reduce the number of infection per day i think this thing will go down if if i play my part and you play your part god willing this thing will go away as soon as it can so that is it guys those are my lessons uh, about eight points those if you have more you can write them down explain to us say something about it and don't forget to subscribe to my account and um yes share this video with a love down comment let's get engaging thank you so much for watching thank you so much for listening to me and being here we are going to conquer this thing actually and i have a a mask i don't know where it is so that guys you don't say i don't have a mask i have two several i have this one and i have the surgical one but i prefer these ones when i do the surgical ones especially in a country it's hot you feel like you can't breathe enough but 
for this cloth one it's a nini okay they say that maybe you can get corona from this i don't know but it's a bit lighter it's easier for me to wear and breathe in it so thank you guys for watching and to the next one this video is getting so long i didn't want it to get this long bye bye